So Rings of Power is kind of puzzling in terms of the fan reaction. And I say fan loosely because it doesn't seem like these people really know Tolkien. If the major complaint is they're not sticking to canon, that is fine. And I've noted before that certain elements, the elves having too much power, right? Galadriel appears a little bit too small. They could have cast an actress who's a little bit taller. She is very beautiful. And I think she does a very capable job, but it is a little noticeable just how, quote, ordinary and human she is in a few too many shots. But that's me. That said, in terms of the larger scope, there's not a lot to complain about because this is a very biblical story and there is a huge Easter egg at the very end of episode two. So if you are a more hardcore Tolkien fan, you're going to find quite a lot to enjoy in terms of just giving you a very epic mythical scope of this universe. That said, the actual plot itself seems a little small and manufactured. So there's a big crisis with the dwarves which will play into the getting of the rings. And then there's a lot of political back and forth with the elves. Uh, again, there are canonical sources there, but I found it just more functional. I will say I was surprised the Hobbit and the Stranger, that storyline is not as annoying as it was with season one. Now, I actually like the fact that the Stranger took a long, long time just to learn languages. I think that was a very smart move. But again, just the way the Hobbits were being portrayed, sat uneasily they can be a part of the story but they should be a very small part of it but here they're finally being less annoying so that that's that's interesting i don't agree with the fandom or i should say the fake fandom that was up to, oh the hobbits are dark they're normal they can choose to be dark i don't wonder who these fake fans are if you're a hardcore fan this will be for you and if you're ironically a very passive fan this will be for you but if you wanted the jackson films all over again yeah, it will be very disappointing because the pacing here is much more leisurely, to put it mildly. So this is a story that's going to be coming to you very, very slow. However, I do think the substance is really strong. I think the place to complain about, though, is where it is strong, it still shows some inconsistency. So the costumes, production design, visual effects are, for the most part, strong. But then you're like, certain editing choices, certain parts of dialogue, and just the emphasis is a little bit weird but again i cannot deny even though you should be critical of easter eggs it's not deadpool and wolverine but there are so many funny and very powerful easter eggs that they keep spreading out through these episodes so i don't understand it i think on balance it's a mixed bag but mixed positive it isn't just getting to greatness just yet but they're building up to something i hope so i'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 and i would recommend it but you know it's okay to watch this with a big cup of hot chocolate cuz it will take its time to get where it's going, you have to be honest there. It is a very slow moving story, but I thought that's a fine, that's a, that's a fine interpretation of Tolkien. Again, these are big, big book, but I guess a, a lot more people want a very speedy kind of Michael Bay adaptation where, you know, missiles and explosions and elves and more explosions, I guess.